Here in Indianapolis, the capital city in the heartland, it's day two of the opening weekend of the Big Three, and the hometown guy, Greg Oden, leads the Aliens into action. Another expansion club led by seven-time All-Star Joe Johnson. Who could forget Amari Stoudemire? He is back in the Big Three with Tri-State and Bonzi Wells, Indiana native, former star at Muncie Central. Yes, it's the brainchild of Ice Cube, the Big Three, next on CBS. Inside Bankers Life Fieldhouse, opening weekend continues in the Big Three, and it all begins today with the triplets and the aliens on CBS. Here are some of the key players you'll be watching, Joe Johnson and Greg Oden in game number one. Second of the triple header, the killer threes, Josh Powell against Amari Stoudemire in Tri-State, and Mike Bibby leads the Ghost Ballers against Deshaun Stevenson and the Ball Hogs. And with that, we welcome you. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by somebody. I know you want to still play. Oh, yeah. But he's here with us. It's Brendan Haywood. This should be a lot of fun. Listen, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I'm happy to be a part of the Big Three now. And I can't wait to see some of this action pop off behind me out here. Well, we have a great beginning to this triple header. It starts with the Aliens and the Triplets. And let's take a look at the State Farm roster breakdown for the Aliens. Andre Owens, he's an Indiana native, and Brendan, he meticulously crafted this roster, and he eyed the big fella, Greg Oden, to come off the bench with Ryan Hollins. Well, listen, I know it's all about the guard play when you think about three-on-three -three basketball, but you have to show love to the big men because in this type of setting, somebody like Greg Oden can dunk his way to victory. The big fella from Indiana looking to show out in his home state. I'm excited to see him back. He looks good out there. He looks happy. He looks healthy, and I'm sure he's going to put on performance but look for Greg Oden to dominate the paint early and often on the other side another expansion club the triplets in their roster breakdown Al Jefferson former pacer ended his NBA career in Indianapolis Allen Anderson is back but Joe Johnson he is the one to watch the captain for the expansion triplets here on day number two well, listen Joe Johnson he's built for this type of situation one-on-one -on -one king in the NBA and now he gets to take it to three on three Joe Cool, a.k.a. Joe Buckets. He could get a bucket at any time when he was playing in the NBA. I look for him to do the same here. The guy scores the ball at all three levels. If you need a three-point shot, four-point shot, mid-range game, post-up, Joe Johnson does it all, and he's going to put it all on display tonight. Well, Brandon, speaking of scoring buckets, Lisa Leslie, the Hall of Famer, head coach of the Triplets. And on the other side, we have a lot of Hall of Fame coaches here today. Nate Tiny Archibald went into the Naismith Hall of Fame in Springfield back in 1991. Well, for those unfamiliar to the big three rules, slightly different from what you'll see internationally. First team to 50 points wins. You must win by two. Get to halftime when one team scores 25. No game clock. There's a 14-second shot clock. The free throws, worth keeping an eye on. And, of course, what's unique to the big three, the four-point shot player's foot must be touching any part of one of three four-point circles 30 feet away from the basket. A great opening night in Detroit, and here we are, Brendan, day number two here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, and two teams on a mission in this, their first years in the Big Three. And I like the fact that Aliens going inside of Greg Oden early on, getting established, and he has a nice pass in there, even though Owens doesn't pay it off on the floater. In these type of settings, I always feel like get a couple buckets inside first, some nice easy layups and dunks, then work your way out to the perimeter, start looking for the threes and the four-point plays, not the other way around. Greg Oden among the starting three here today for the Aliens. And here's Joe Johnson. Uh, uh. Fall away almost. He can and that was, that was what made him so good and what's so special in the league is that he could score from anywhere. Joe was never the best athlete in the world, but because he had so much poise and rhythm to his game, he was always able to get to his spots, and he could pull up from deep or in the mid-range. Andre Owens, number 20 for the Aliens, gets them on the board. Pocket pass, Al Jefferson. 
And gets the triplets their first bucket today. And look for a lot from Al. Look for a lot of that from Al. You feel the, uh, the awkward pump fake? He got a lot of big men to jump on that pump fake throughout his career. I know I jumped for it once or twice. <laughs> but he, he is excellent with that pump fake, and he has a lot of great moves coming off of it. Loves to get to that jump hook. Uh, Brandon Rush, the champion with the Warriors, off the mark. Second chance here for the Aliens. It's Owens, and that's no good. Brandon Rush has a little bit of a... Yeah, he can, he can walk Pargo down to the block. Tough customer. Oh, nice crossover. Tough customer, but he doesn't want to be down there. Greg Oden with the slam. Rush. Great crossover. Set that up. Oden paid it off with a very nice finish. Pargo swings it out. Joe Johnson, the touch for Jefferson. Nice fake. And Odin's there for the rebound. And once again, you saw Al likes to start off all of his moves with that jump with that jump hook. Had a chance to play with him a year in Charlotte, played against him many years. I saw that jump hook and that, and that uh, pump fake all the time. But look at this play right here. You see Brandon Rush. Looks like he's going to go for the back down on Pargo. Creates enough separation. Now Pargo has to try to recover it. Skirt! Real quick crossover. <laughs> finds Odin standing right there in the middle of the paint. The big fella throws it home. Excellent setup by Rush. Now Greg Oden to the line, fouled by Al Jefferson. First team to commit six fouls. It's the other in the bonus in each half. Two aliens with the early lead. Here's Johnson from three. In and out. Rush will take one. Halfway down, no. And a loose ball fell. And Al might have his hands full inside with Greg because Greg has the height advantage, probably a little bit of strength on him. And that's what Greg Oden did. Even, with, even when he was playing earlier on in his career, he was a guy that was able to find his carve out a blast. And uh, with only uh, a couple of bodies out here, I'm not sure if Al's going to be able to keep Greg off the boards all night long. And Lisa Leslie senses that. Looks like she's going to make a change. And Chris Johnson. Three NBA seasons. He's going to come on for the first time. So the aliens with Owens the captain, Rush and Odin. Fargo guarding Owens. Rush to the spot. That's what he does. Buries the trifecta. Yeah, great setup right there. The post up. Owens with the great find. Rush got, came off a flare screen. Was able to hit the three. Lisa Leslie going to take a timeout. A 10-2 start for the Aliens, and Brandon Rush putting his mark on this first game thus far. Yeah, Lisa Leslie doesn't like what she's seen so far, but look at Rush right here. Nice three. This is what he was made to do. This week, Colbert goes live after the Democratic debates. Plus, special guests, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Chris Christie. Don't miss Colbert live this Wednesday and Thursday on CBS. It's a 7 run for the Aliens, a 10-2 lead over the triplets. As we say hello to the third member of our team, Brandon Tierney, BT. Okay, fellas, what's happening? We got the big man back on the floor, not huffing and puffing, so you have your win. How you feeling, man? I'm good. I mean, we still got a long game to play. Just trying to get this win. You know, the one thing you told us last night, it came across pretty, pretty clearly to all of us that when we chatted with you, you don't want to talk about the injuries. You just want to get back to playing basketball. I, I know we have to ask you, how are you feeling? So let's get that out of the way. How are you feeling physically? Right now, I'm good. I'll be better if we win. All right. All right. Get a couple more dunks, man. I'll talk to you later. Guys, back to you. All right, BT, Greg Gordon, the number one pick in 2007 in Britain, a star coming out of Ohio State, and then the injuries thwarting what was such a promising NBA career. And yeah, it, it's unfortunate because we have no idea what he could have been in the NBA because he was so strong and physical and a great athlete coming out. And the injuries obviously derailed his career. I think some people said that Odin was a bust, but that's so unfair. A bust is somebody that can't play. Somebody that, oh, somebody that's injured is just unfortunate. But unfortunate for whoever's on the wrong side of that dunk right there. Odin finished it with some power. He has still got it and some. And you saw the chest bump from Captain Andre Owens. 
Owens visited Odin in Ohio before the big three to make sure he was game ready. And boy, at least so far, is he ever. Yeah, and he has a nice mismatch down here with the strength. And that is what he can do all day. There is, there is nothing Johnson can do inside with Odin. Too big, too strong, too physical, and he is imposing his will. Remember, first to 25 gets us to halftime. Odin already with eight points for the aliens. Hargo. Three is not going down for the triplets, but they'll get a second crack at it. Hargo, not that time either. Yeah, I was wondering when Gennaro was going to start taking some shots. Gennaro's another guy I had a chance to play with in Charlotte, and uh, he's not shy to shoot the ball. So to see him not shoot the ball the early part of this game was a little surprising, but he will make up for lost time. This guy will shoot it at some point. Joe Johnson over Odin. A little slap on the wrist. But right here, look at Greg Odin. Takes his time. Nice footwork. Takes the power up. Johnson, nothing he can do. And then Greg Odin, little chicken wing inside. Gets right to the jump hook. Three on three basketball, baby. There's no help. You're on the island, Chris. Nothing you can do. All smiles for Tiny Archibald's team, the Aliens. Remember, these two expansion teams are the four here in 2019 of the Big Three. And Joe Johnson, after that foul by Greg Oden, is going to shoot a pair. And when we say a pair, we mean one, one. free throw yes. counts for one, two. One to make two. And there is Ice Cube, co-founder of the Big Three. Great to have him here in Indianapolis is Shannon Brown. Johnson kicks it out. Allen Anderson. Johnson cleaning up, not getting the bunny to go down. Yeah, jo Johnson struggling with the shot a little bit early on. Hollins. And Ryan with a, little, with a little bit of an awkward shot right there, but hey, it, it, looked, it looked good. It looked like it had a shot. This is what Captain Andre Owen tournament. The 50-50 balls are everything as Brown can't finish. Yeah, and a lot of times in three-on-three -three settings, you see a lot of guys trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. I've always felt that because of the floor space and because there's only three guys out there, if you can go, if you can get a nice little screen and roll, you can always get a good shot because there's no rotations. Oh. Johnson takes oh. Rush off the Watch out, and Rush. slams it down. Wait a minute. I didn't know Johnson had all that in his bag now. Dropped them off real smooth. You see the big foot? Oh, we can't get the crossover first? We had a nice little behind-the-back move. Johnson pays it off with the two-hand dunk. I don't think Rush was, uh, I don't think Rush was uh, aware that Johnson had that Whoa. in his portfolio. In his bag of tricks. Second to Shaquille O'Neal in career blocks in his days at LSU. There you go. Great screen set by Hollins. Johnson Brown. with the denial. Yeah, Brown, great, great drive, but Johnson really made up for it. Stays here, Holland. And that's why you put a guy like Hollins on your team. Hollins isn't out here to shoot the ball. He's out here to do the dirty work, set the screens, get the rebounds, finish off plays. He, he made a, a, a nice career for himself in the league doing that. I see him doing the same three out here in the big three. Ten years for Hollins. Played at UCLA, the seven-footer. Here he is against Johnson, will fire. And the rebound to Joe Johnson. So Johnson with, go with the ball, step back jumper, got nice. it. And that's, that's what it all is for Joe, it's all about pace. If you see, he's net, you can never speed him up, he's never in a hurry, he just finds his spot, finds his spot, and then he has all the tricks. He, can, he has the fadeaways, the step backs, he's a big strong guard, so he uses his body as well. Brown to the basket. Nice answer from the two-time champion with the Lakers, Shannon Brown. Now, Brennan Aliens, that early 14-2 advantage. Triplet starting to chip away. Great driver. Oh. And, yeah, Anderson kind of got lost right there. But you see Joe Johnson right here. Nice. Takes the pace. They creates the contact. Quick step back. Nothing Hollins can do. Fades away. He's been hitting that shot in his sleep for years. Pick and roll. Oh, Chris Johnson got in the way. Here's Joe Johnson. Second opportunity. Teardrop Ooh. goes Ooh. down. Ooh. He threw that up to the ceiling. Go get that one, Ryan Hollins. 
And once again, Joe Johnson's game is not based on athleticism. It is all based on incredible skill. Every time I watched Joe Johnson play, I was always amazed that there was no weakness in his game. He went left, he went right. He could shoot it from deep to mid-range, had floaters, everything. He did it all. 17 NBA seasons as Hollins can't hit. Rush, another opportunity. Off his back foot. Another chance for the aliens. Hollins. Hollins doing the dirty work, getting the offensive rebounds, and then go ahead getting the contact inside. It's not always pretty with Ryan Hollins, but he gets it done. But speaking of pretty, look at this right here. Pretty floater right over the top. Nothing anybody can do about that. Andre Owens coming back in for the aliens in place of Brandon Rush. And the native of Pasadena, California. He was a killer three last year. We're going to see the killer threes in the second of this triple header coming up. And again, meticulously crafted roster by Tiny Archibald and Captain Andre Owens. You bring a guy like Hollins in with Odin. Joe Johnson to the left. Oh, my goodness. The spin cycle, the B button, whatever you want to call it. Joe Johnson with the quick spin. Shannon Brown still trying to figure out what happened. Brandon, he has eight points, Joe Johnson. It's a six-point contest here in the first half. You bring the double at Hollins, re-entry now. Shoot, Brown. And it's a shot clock violation on the aliens. Yeah, and that's not really Ryan's game. Kind of got caught in the middle trying to make a play. Right there, just kick it, kick it out to uh, kick it out to Brown or whoever, then figure out what you want to do after that. Maybe come out there and set the screen. Johnson to Johnson. Well, physicality inside, no call. Owens sizing it up. Hits the three. Andre Owens puts the fingers to the break. Big three right there, just stepped right into it. Just obviously, just obviously wasn't close enough to defend. Here's where Joe gives you. Here's where Joe gives you a problem. Drop step, finishes, and the foul. That is where the triplets can find a bucket at any time. Joe Johnson in the mid post because he has the floaters, because he has the step backs, but then he has incredible footwork. Look right here, seals him with the drop step, goes inside, finishes on the other side of the rim. Joe Cool, A.K.A. Joe Buckets. <laughs> Getting it done out here. I think they call them Big Shot Joe, Big, ISO yeah. Joe. ISO, yeah, ISO Joe was definitely one of my favorite nicknames for Joe Johnson ah! because he could ISO on anybody. Now Jeff, he can, do this, he can do this as well. He almost got it to drop from yeah. three. That's a foul right there. How about to say? And they agree with you. Yeah, Sh Shannon Brown definitely hit him on the arm and didn't uh, give Anderson a chance to land when he came down. And you don't want to do take those type of fouls. Those are silly fouls. If you have somebody fading away, tough shot, play tough defense. If they hit the shot, congratulate them. But you don't want to put them on the line and give them the easy one. Alan Anderson, unique position with the triplets. Only guy with big three experience. Last year with the killer threes, almost 11 points per game in about 14 minutes per contest. Ed Cohen, Brendan Haywood, Brandon Tierney, our entire CBS crew from Indianapolis as Andre Owens sticks the three. And the aliens are within one of getting it to halftime. But, but you see the little mean mug after the shot? Look, <laughs> look at that, Mr. Anderson. Anderson wants it wide open. And a good find. Can't finish. Jefferson, yes. That whole play to start with Joe Johnson, though. They threw to him on, they threw to him on the block. Um, the aliens realizing that Joe's been having his way down there sent the immediate double team which led to the open shot and eventually our our big Al finishing it off and up. Owens fall away. Joe Johnson leans into Brown. Tip no. Owens this is for halftime. And now it's Jefferson launching. I thought about it. He didn't shoot a lot of those in his career, but he, he took he took his time. It, it looked good coming out of his hand. Losing eyes in the crowd. They remember when his career ended in Indiana. Three to shoot. Shannon Brown. Tough shot going to his left. Joe Johnson, corner pocket. I think the funny thing for Joe today has been that the easier shots, the open shots, have been the ones that he hasn't hit, and the tougher shots have been the shots that he's made.
Oh, one point away from halftime, potentially. And right, the Tiny the Archibald three, calls for time here in the first half of the opener of this triple header. Joe Johnson, Brennan, a good start so far to keep the triplets within striking distance. Listen, Joe Johnson has been giving us everything we wanted out here. You see right here the nice floater, teardrop, throws it to the top of the building and gets it to fall. Now that's the quick spin move. Shannon Brown, no idea what happened to him on that play. And now Joe once again working on Brown in the post. This time with the spin, this a nice drop step finish on the other side of the rim. Iso Joe, Joe Cool, Joe Buckets, whatever you want to call him. Joe Johnson is a professional bucket getter. He can score, and he's obviously putting that on display today. Obviously, seven-time All-Star, 20,000-plus points, over 1,900 threes in NBA history. Other guys who have done that, one's Reggie Miller, Ray wow. Allen, Vince Carter, Dirk Nowitzki, and Paul Pierce. That is great company. Man, that's a, no, that is elite company. He, <laughs> Joe Johnson is an elite company, and he was a great basketball player, uh, had an excellent career. Aliens 24, the triplets 18. Ice Cube courtside here for the opening weekend. We are in season three of the big three. Let's see what Tiny Archibald drew up in that huddle. Does, does, he, does he have a play to get us in the halftime? You gotta find out what yeah. Tiny's come up yeah, with. Yeah, I always like ATO after timeout plays. I always like to see what a coach has in his bag after a timeout. It's Brown for three. Great look, great look. And that's all you can ask for as a coach. Drop a play out of a timeout, get your, get your team a good look. The players got to do the rest. Oh, Johnson looking down low. Jefferson camped out. He scores. Yeah, we talked about Johnson scoring, but an underrated part of, a game, of his game is his passing. It's almost like having a 6'8 point guard out there. Now the triplets have inched a little closer. 25 gets us to halftime. Owens for Hollins. The aliens have hit a cold spell. Joe Johnson. Can't get that corner three to fall today. Joe Johnson, 10 points. Hollins moving screen on Allen Anderson. Oh, he said a lot of those in the league. <laughs> <laughs> My guy Ryan was known for setting illegal screens. That was what he did. Oh, yeah, that's clearly illegal. He probably hasn't worked on remedying that in his years since retiring. Yeah, it's hard to work on screen setting on your own. So you can work on you can work on shots and individual moves, but the, the screening aspect of the game is something that you just have to get going while you're in the game. Higher priority. Janeiro Pargo there back in. Yeah, they're gonna have to send a double team. Pargo for three. The triplets have got the triplets have gotten some very, very good looks and haven't been able to knock them in. Pargo with the open look. Joe Johnson has gotten countless uh, wide open threes in the corners. So right now, if you're the triplets, you're not winning this game. But guess what? The shots have been there, and if you continue to get those shots, things will slowly but surely tip in your favor. Owens, the aliens out there. Hollins. Hollins is to the play. He said he's more than just a screen setter. I see you, Ryan, with the bucket right there. 26-20. Tiny Archibald's aliens with the lead over the triplets. A big start for the aliens. Captain Andre Owens is standing by with Brandon Tierney. Yeah, we've got the captain. And one of the things you told us last night is we get ready for NBA free agency and all these teams getting ready to jump on these guys like Durant and, Kyle, uh, and, 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 and Leonard. You went out and you were an aggressive GM captain. What do you see so far, the guys you brought in? I see, we're playing very hard. The guys are playing productive, we're playing smart, we're playing together, so that's all I can ask for. What about four of the six players on the roster, first-year guys? You know, obviously a bit of a transition in this style. Are they adapting well? They're trying to adapt, like I told them, like it's all about the hustle plays. That's going to win you ball games. you got to be able to close out, contest, and be able to guard somebody, and that's what we're doing right now. All right, get a towel, man. We'll see you after. Thanks. Andre Owens, back to you guys, co-captain of the team. Uh, PT, thanks. Yes, Andre Owens, Indiana native. Up the road at Perry Meridian High School. He was a star. Halftime of the opener of this triple header. Andre Owens and the Aliens lead the triplets here on CBS. Big Three Basketball on CBS Sports is sponsored by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 800-STATE-FARM. 
VH1 Basketball Wives. New season. Check your local listing. And by Toyota. Let's go places. Here in downtown Indianapolis, half time. Well, this opener in the big three here in Indy. Aliens leading the triplets by six. Seth Cohen with Brendan Haywood. And you talk about the Aliens, one of the expansion clubs in the big three. They went to the big fella, Greg Oden, early. He delivered. Uh, I like the fact that they went inside to Greg Oden. He was uh, a monster inside, way too strong. It didn't matter whether it was Al Jefferson or Johnson trying to guard him. He was able to have his way in there. Oden, three for three to start this first game of this triple header. And let's take a look at some of the things he did well here in the first half against the triplets. Well, this is what Greg Oden's known for, catching and finishing strong. You see him with a nice dunk right there here. Takes his time. One bump. Oh, Johnson getting the rim. Can't do anything with the big fella. And now just Greg Oden showing a little bit of power. Mixed with finesse. Uses the arm to clear out and then gets his jump hook off. Greg Oden had a nice start to this game. Three for three. Look for them to get finished and look for him to get featured a little bit more in the second half. As for the triplets, let's go over to Brandon Tierney with Joe Johnson. Yeah, one of these times, Hollins is going to actually smack Hay when he's messing around with that. He's going to get to pretty soon. <laughs> Hollins doesn't want this smoke. <laughs> I got you. We got Joe Buckets, tremendous, tremendous career, 20,000 points, first year of the Big Three. Number one, how you feeling? Number two, how different is the game, man? Uh, I feel great. Uh, the game is fun. It's very physical, but we expect that. Man, we're in a great situation. We ain't made shots, but we're only down six points. We just got to keep fighting. Well, that's what I was going to say. The old adage is eventually you're going to knock these down. You guys are wide open. So it, when, when you try to strike the balance of structure versus freelance, where are you guys at with that? The structure that went out the window. We just hooping now. <laughs> that's what happens at the schoolyard. Structure out the window. Joe, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Guys, back to you. No structure. Hey, no structure. <laughs> a little bit. Who, who, needs, who needs structure, man? We out here to have fun. This is the big three. Let the athletes dictate the game and have fun. These guys know how to play. I feel like AI. Structure? Who needs structure? Yeah, structure, practice, whatever it is, they don't need it. Both teams aren't really shooting the ball well right now. The triplets, 8 for 28. Aliens, 9 for 28. But if you look at the shots that the triplets have gotten, a lot of open shots by Joe Johnson. He's only 4 for 13. Pargo had some open shots as well along with Anderson. You keep giving those guys shots, they will knock them down. Now the first half double-double for Joe Johnson, and they doubled him quite a bit. Mention how physical it was. Hello. That's a good start. Great start. I love the play by Lisa Leslie getting Joe, Joe Johnson coming off the dribble hand off to his right hand, and then he finishes with the floater. Like I said, that's a staple in this game. That floater is what he lives by. So Rush Oden Owens for the Aliens. Brandon Rush step back. And Jefferson corrals it with Pargo and Joe Johnson. Pargo short. Now Pargo and Joe Johnson played together at Arkansas for the great Nolan Richardson. That's interesting. You got a pair of teammates out there. They played together at Arkansas, and then Pargo and Al Jefferson played together in Charlotte for the uh, Hornets. It's amazing. The big three, it's not just seeing guys who you remember. It's a reunion for so many players, too. Oh, it definitely is. And it was great for me to, before the game, talk to the, some of the guys that I knew, guys like Al Jefferson, Pargo, Ryan Hollins. It's always good to uh, get to talk to your brethren in this basketball family. When you're in the NBA, you're part of a basketball family. Now, I know you're waiting for game three, this triple header. It's not that games one and two are insignificant, but Al your guy for the Bulldogs, Deshaun Stevenson, won that's a my, championship with Dallas. That's like my brother right there. <laughs> Deshaun Stevenson, we were together with the Wizards, able to win a championship in Dallas, so I can't wait to see him on this court do his thing. Two-point game. Odin against Jefferson. Almost. Trying to beat the shot clock that time. Jefferson steps out and oh, drills the three. Jefferson. That's a little something new. I didn't, now, see, I didn't know Al had that in his game. I know normally from around 15 to 17 feet, he's pretty good with the, with the mid-range jumper. But out to the three-point line? Uh. Well, a adding a, oh, watch out, Pargo. Wait a minute. Oh. Andre Owens nearly got it to go. Wait a minute, Gennaro. And Joe Johnson oh, more conventional. Shot. It's a four-point lead. Man, it must be slippery out there. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Pargo's ankles. They will send BT out there as Rush answers Brandon with the trifecta. For three. That quiets a 10-0 run for the triplets. Look for Pargo to try to get Owens back as soon as possible. Par Pargo's one of those guys, he's fiery. If you get the better of him, he likes to go right back at you the next play. 
Jefferson from mid range. Now Brandon Rush, the champion with Golden State, their first title in the dynasty, 2015. Owen Schmidt. Great hands. Great hands by Fargo. Excellent pass. And Jefferson fouled by Odin underneath. And now we're starting to see the competition level. Now it's now the guy, the nervousness is gone, and now it's just guys out there hooping. Hey, I want to win, you want to win. Who's going to make the most hustle plays? We heard Owens talking about that at halftime, and I think he's absolutely correct. When you get in this type of setting, the guy that's willing to go a little bit harder, that's going to be the guy who's going to help his team win. Well, this guy went hard for 14 NBA seasons. Al Jefferson, he's only 34, and he last played in China for the Xinjiang Flying Tigers. I was only 34. Yeah. Wow. He came out of high school in Mississippi back in 2004. Rush, veteran. Here's Owens to the basket. Andre, Andre Owens o. gives the aliens the lead again. Speaking of playing hard, I love the fact that Owen walks it like he talks. It. He <laughs> he he's talked about playing hard at halftime, and when you see him out there, every time he gets the ball, he's trying to attack the basket. He's willing to make those extra hard nose plays, and he made one of them right there. Games in the NBA, Andre Owens, Joe Johnson, nicely done over Rush. And now you see why they're forced to double Joe every time he gets the ball on the block because there's nobody on the aliens that can guard him. I think the triplets have to milk that matchup. Throw the ball into Joe Johnson every single time, let him make a play, or force the double team and then get a good shot out of him. This has been fun to watch, and it's getting increasingly harder for Al Jefferson one on one inside against Greg Oden. Well, in this matchup for Al, Al understand, being the veteran that he is, he understands it's all about positioning. If you get Greg Oden a, a step or two off the block, he's not really that effective. But if Oden's able to get a foot in the paint, that's where he can dominate you. And Al knows that he is fighting him for every inch of space out there. Ryan Hollins back in for Greg Oden. Now he locked the arm of Jefferson that time. There we go. That, this is smart basketball. If it, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Force them to double. There's nobody out there that can stop Joe Johnson. They, they just don't have anybody that can guard him. He's too big, too strong, too versatile. Foul on Brandon Rush. We heard some of the coaches, Tiny Archibald, some of the other Hall of Famers speak about the style of the big three this year and how it, a lot of ways is old school NBA. That's the nature of three on three, but certainly in the big three. And we're seeing that here in this first game. Big three is definitely old school. Old school NBA was a lot of isolation basketball. New school is a lot of mid to high pick and rolls, and that's where guys make their money. But that old school, if you couldn't stop somebody on the block, they would keep going to that guy until you stopped them, and that is what the big three is all about. Go, see right here, go right back to Joe Johnson. Crossover, Pargo. I, I know Pargo has a flamethrower and an excellent game. I know he wants to get his shots up as well, but if we're talking about winning, Forced him to stop Joe Johnson. I haven't seen the aliens stop Joe Johnson yet. He's got 17. Owens on a switch against Jefferson. And Hollins and Johnson in a tussle at the block. Listen, anytime there's any type of tussling going on, Ryan Hollins is going to be a part of it. He, he's that type of guy. He goes out there. It's all about the energy. It's all about the hustle plays. He likes to be a little bit of an irritant. I think Ryan takes pride in that. I'm sure it was great to see him after all these years, right? Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Rush. Now, Pargo all over him. And this is on Gennaro Pargo. 11 NBA seasons. He's approaching the age of 40. And once again, a college teammate of Joe Johnson back at Arkansas. And Gennaro's going to be 40? <laughs> he don't look a day over 35. He's 39, so let him enjoy it. Okay. At least yeah, look, the next now, now listen here. If somebody's 39, you got to let them get every <laughs> single last day in their 30s. You can't make them 40 until they hit 40. Okay. You got to make sure they let them get every last day in their 30s. I hope he doesn't take issue with us when this is all said and done. Brandon Rush off the mark, and there's Joe Johnson. He'll step out and yeah. nails it. It's a 20-point game thus far for Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson finally getting the three-point shot to fall, but for the triplets, it's been all about Joe and what he can do and what he can bring to the table. He's been an absolute monster out there. The aliens have no answers for this guy. Step back three, C to three, B to three. Day two, big three rolls on on CBS. 
Thursday night at 7 Eastern. Get ready for WNBA Showdown as the Minnesota Lynx take on the Indiana Fever on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. They're the home of the Fever in Indianapolis. And Lisa Leslie, two-time WNBA champion, wired for sound, the head coach of the Triplets. Oh, Brennan, she said it at first. You've got to get the ball, keep the possessions alive. Yeah, the extra plays. And it's the same thing that Owens was talking about for the aliens. The extra plays, the hustle plays, those are the plays, that, those are the difference in the game. That's the difference between winning and losing. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of great one-on-one -on -one plays and crossovers and layups and things of that nature. But how many steals, how many uh, blocks can you get? How many rebounds, offensive rebounds can you get? Those are the winning plays that always decide basketball games. No different here. Lisa Leslie's team as Pargo misses the three, has outscored the Aliens 17 to 7 since halftime. Lisa Leslie, eight-time WNBA All-Star, as Rush gets to the basket and scores. And that's just simple basketball. Nice pick set by Hollins, has a good solid screen, gets the switch, and Rush exploits that switch. And now the triplets come right back to what's been working for them. Joe Johnson with an isolation. Rush trying to guard him. Little help from Hollins. Chris Johnson short. Joe Johnson's there. Pargo wide open. Owens just a hair late. He buries the three. There we go. Pargo finally got one to fall. Listen, that's the thing about Gennaro Pargo. He's not shy. He's never going to stop shooting. This guy can absolutely get it done from behind the arc, and he has complete confidence in himself and his game. Owens gets it back. Out for Rush. And the answer from Brandon Rush as the aliens stay within two. I think the triplets right here need to go right back to Joe Johnson. But Chris Johnson, instead of staying at the top of the key, he needs to go right underneath the basket. He dives. Joe Johnson trying to find him, and he was fouled. Yeah, and that's the thing. The last play with Johnson had the ball, Chris Johnson stayed behind the three-point line. They'll give that shot up to him. When he sees Joe with the ball, he needs to either set him a screen or dive right to the basket. Take that double team out of there. If they're going to double team Joe, stay underneath the basket and make him pay with dunks and layups. Andre Owens getting a breather for the aliens. Shannon Brown in, along with Hollins and Rush. We'll see Brown's Lakers teammate from back in the day, Josh Powell, coming up with the killer threes. Chris Johnson, been out of control. Nicely done by Hollins. Yeah, Chris Johnson still, he still hasn't got the memo that uh, the aliens would give him that jumper all day long. Roll to the basket. He's an excellent finisher around the basket, though. Pargo from Joe Johnson. And that was a great flash by Chris Johnson to set that up. Joe Johnson once again on the block, caused the problem. Chris Johnson saw his man lurking a little bit, sets the flare screen. Pargo gets a wide open look. Triplets were down by six at halftime. Right now, a five point lead. First to 50 wins. Okay, let's see. Lost the ball and a foul. Okay, I want to see what Ryan had in his bag down there on the block. <laughs> Well, the triplets, Brendan, starting to make some shots. This is Pargo earlier. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about in the first half. The triplets were getting great shots. Guys like Pargo, Anderson, Joe Johnson, they were all getting open looks. They just weren't knocking them down. Those guys are great shooters, so you knew eventually that was going to turn around and work in their favor. Pargo, two-point range, and Rush is there. 43-38, the triplets. First games for both of these franchises, new to the big three, two of the four expansion teams. Shannon Brown fall away. Tough shot, he oh, got it. Tough Shannon bucket Brown. right there in the mid-range. I, I don't know if he's going to try to shoot that straight in or go with the bank, but he got it to fall. Coming down the stretch, this, this is going to be a battle. It was all aliens to start this one. And then Joe Johnson took it over. They go, there you go. Now Chris Johnson's in the right spot. Collins couldn't get it. Pargo, deflection. 
And the reset as the shot clock is halfway down at seven. Johnson for three. Chris Johnson offensive board and the triplets extend the lead to five. And that's exactly where they need him around the basket. Good things happen for big fellas if they just stay in that lane. I know I know in today's game a lot of guys like to float to the perimeter. But guess what? That game is still won by a lot of dunks and layups. And that's what Chris Johnson specializes in. Tiny Archibald's team down by five here in the first of our triple header today from Indianapolis. Watch your sports news without the yelling and fake debate. Stream CBS Sports HQ, the free 24-7 network for nonstop highlights and news. Download the CBS Sports app today. Here today from Indianapolis, Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Ed Cohen, Brendan Haywood, Brandon Tierney with you in the Indiana Connections. We talked about Greg Oden, his captain Andre Owens at the top later, Jermaine O'Neal and Bonzi Wells from Tri-State, Stephen Jackson and C.J. Watson, two former Indiana Pacers. Well, I can't wait to watch that. A lot of big-time names going, going, going head to head out there. Stephen Jackson, Bonzi Wells, a lot of guys that had a lot of great success in this league and guys that have big time pride. Those, those guys have pride and they're going to come out here and they're going to play very, very hard and give these fans what they want to see. Greg Oden to start Lawrence North High School. Moved to Indiana when he was nine years old. And of course, started with Mike Conley Jr. Not just at Ohio State, but also at Lawrence North. Yeah, and like, I'm just glad to see Greg Oden out there playing, doing what he loves, having fun, and being healthy. Uh, like I said, I said earlier in the show, some people label him a bust. I do not consider him that. I consider Greg Oden very unfortunate because he just had injury after injury. No telling how he could have been, how good he could have been without that. 105 games played in the NBA. Of course, number one pick of Portland in 07. Here he is now, shakes the shoulders, lost the ball. Well defended by Jefferson. Triplets, 45-40 lead. First of 50 wins. Johnson sets his feet. Three-pointer knocks uh -oh. it down. We're, we're one bucket away from a triplets victory. A huge trip here for the aliens. Yeah, they, they got to store. They got to score and get a couple stops. They might. They might need to start looking at a couple four-pointers. Surprising, we haven't had anybody try the four-pointer yet. Odin, he's not going to try one. No, that's definitely not going to be Odin's game. Joe Johnson, he is there, and as you said, point game here for the triplets. This could be the end of it. Iso Joe uh -oh. blows by Brown. Hello. And wins it Hello. for the triplets in game number one. Joe Johnson, Joe Cool, Iso Joe, Joey Buckets, whatever you want to call him. Joe gets it done once again. Back like he never left. Sets him up. Quick in between the legs. Tween, tween. Blows right by Rush and then finishes with the patented floater that nobody can stop. There's no help for that. Odin can jump all day. He'll never block that shot. History today for the triplets. Their debut game. Joe Johnson with the winner, and he is with Brandon Tierney. Well, Joe, we talked a little while ago about you guys were getting good looks. Eventually, they start dropping. They started dropping. Congrats on the win, man. Thank you. We just had to relax, man. Uh, a lot of us, it's our first time playing in this, so sometimes you're a little too anxious. Yeah. We settled down in the second half, got some stops, and made shots. That's it. What is it like trying to, I mean, obviously it's early. And by the way, the last two winners of the Big Three Championship both won on opening nights. That's a good omen for you. But what is it like trying to mesh all the different personalities, the different skill sets in a short amount of time and get on the same page? Well, don't think about that. We just come out and hoop, man. It ain't about, you know, who mesh with who. It's who got it going at that point in time. And right now we had a few different lineups in, but at the end of the day, we're making them play and we're making them work. And by the way, if that all fails, just say, get out of my way. I'm Joe Johnson. I got a couple buckets for you, right? Come on, talk to me. Hello. <laughs> all right. Joe, congrats on the win, guys. Back to you. Oh, PT, thanks. Yes, he lives for moments like these. Joe Johnson, the game winner, triplets over the aliens in game one. Johnson with 27. Al Jefferson with 11 for the triplets. Game one in the books. Ice Cube. Watching courtside as we're off and running opening weekend of the big three game two is coming up next on CBS.